everyone. Hello. We're back. <laughs> We're back for another concert. Uh, this time, we didn't call it Love and Magic. We called it A Taste of Tango. A Taste of Tango. Just a taste. <laughs> Don't get too excited. No, get excited. It's fine. <laughs> we are not traditional tango players, but I am Argentinian, so I have this in my blood, in my tradition, and we incorporate this in compositions. We're going to play some original tangos, as well as one well-known tango, uh, that Pedro was more used to play than me, that I'm the Argentinian. So, you know. I have him, played way more tango than Lucia has, actually. Yes, he's more of a tanguero. He's from Portugal and he's more of a tanguero than I am. But here it is. This is what New York is like. You meet people from all around and everybody does everything. So explain where tango was born and uh, tell people, you know, how what happened in Los Coventillos, you know, quickly and the yellow fever, because that's really interesting. <laughs> okay, so tango was born around the time of 19th century. I'm mean, not a historian, but um, there was a time where the plague was, uh, came in 1871 in San Telmo, which is um, a very well-known you know, neighborhood in Buenos Aires, and they did support there. So a lot of immigrants and ships came to that port. And there was a time when there was a plague, like, like something like we were going through right now, basically. And there were a lot of mansions and big houses in San Telmo. And the wealthy people just left and fled Buenos Aires because they were afraid of the plague and left those big mansions all empty. So a lot of immigrants and, you know, less wealthy people moved into those big houses and make many houses in one. They all live like big families in, in, in one room, but many families in one building, let's say. And those they call the conventillos. And the conventillos was born around those people, really like from low class people, what it was considered. Also, uh, at the beginning, it was just for men, only men danced tango. Women were not really allowed. It was considered also kind of scandalous because it was too sexy and, you know, uh, way too much to show the legs and all of these sexy movements. So this is the origin of tango. I think it's a lot of passion. Um, it is sexy, you know, in a lot of ways. And it has a lot of rough history, I will say. <laughs> all right. So without much further ado, we're going to play Lucia's um, Tango de la Mujer Gris. OK. I composed this for a short film originally. Oh, give me an E, please. Yes. instruments. <laughs> All right. Lucia's beautiful composition, Tango de la Mujer Gris. Si quieres subir el volumen, puedes hacerlo aquí. Y si no, no. No, no, no lo subas. No. Okay, let's go. All right.
So, uh, gracias, Emi, por escucharnos desde Buenos Aires. We have people from Buenos Aires and from Córdoba. Guille from Córdoba and Marta Quiroz. Hola, Guille, from... hola, Marta. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We have a lot of people from Argentina listening. We have Andreas Schubert. Um, Vieni da Francoforte. Sí, lei parla italiano. Anch'io, molto bene. Mi piace molto. <laughs> And we have lots of other people listening, lots and lots and lots. Delia Morianega in Mendoza. We have Beso, people Delia. From all over Argentina. Thank this, you. Having a little taste of tango since they don't have it. <laughs> so the next piece that we are going to play is a very famous Argentinian waltz. And it's called Quiero Ser Tu Sombra, also known as La Partida. Now, this is very interesting because we play this in Portugal a lot on the Portuguese guitar. A famous Portuguese guitarist named Alcino Frazão recorded it in uh, one of his uh, beautiful albums. And he called it Mozart, which is very strange. We can't see you in the front. <laughs> he called it Mozart, so uh, which is, uh, it has nothing to do with the actual uh, name of the piece, which is Quiero Ser Tu Sombra, I Want To Be Your Shadow, or La Partida, The Goodbye. It seems like a lot of people were looking for a title for this. <laughs> There's so many titles, yeah. It's a little weird. Um, a few more shout outs, Ernesto Valerio, Ana Silva, Susana Raba, Inés Henrique da Silva, uh, Francisca Henrique da Silva, Cristina Weber, Carlos André, and I'm sure there are more. I'm sorry if I miss your comments i can't see everything I think one thing you have to explain since you're saying that the portuguese play this waltz that is as a tango the connection between tango and fado because it's a very important one this is why we can do a lot of music with this portuguese guitar and bandoneon pedro has a, an album just came with uh, daniel binelli the great bandoneon is our friend so portuguese guitar bandoneon is a great connection in harmonies and melodies the album is called tango fado duo and it's a follow-up to our Tango Fado project. So we connected the two. So this is the connection of Tango and Fado uh, because every Portuguese guitarist basically plays this piece in, in Fado houses, but it comes from Argentina and it's a waltz. It's not a tango. Okay. But it's Argentinian, so you can feel something. And when Lucia plays it on the piano, it kind of sounds like Chopin. <laughs> kind of sounds like the minute waltz or something like that. Vas a tocar la melodía al final? I will try. See, sí, okay, good. Maybe. <laughs> this is the very first time we do this. Okay. Uh, she learned it today. I'm not joking. She learned it today, a couple of hours ago. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Quiero ser tu sombra.
Quiero ser tu sombra, by Héctor Cuatromano and Zeta Alcayaga, two Argentinian uh, songwriters. So very happy to see so many people. Xavier Delanois de la Belgique, uh, Franco-Belge. Salut, comment vas-tu? David Donnelly from Laguna Beach, California. Hello. Hey, McKenna Krulls in London. And uh, let me see my messages. There's so many people. Yes. Tell Muvalinas. Jorge Ivan Naranjo. And I think I have everyone else. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and Ezequiel Diz. Bravo, muy lindo. Gracias. Oh, thank you. Gracias. Emiliano diciendo que es música transclásica, que hay un poco de bolero y de flamenco. Uh, we can't see you otherwise. Oh, yeah, too close. Yeah. Uh, and I can't change the camera because the sun is shining too loud. Loud? Anyway. <laughs> so now I'm going to make um, the connection between Fado and Tango very clear by playing uh, my piece Lacrime. Uh, this is specially dedicated to Saren and Rosemary, as was the first piece. Uh, that we played. The tango I played the first. The tango was, was for Saren. Yes, yeah, Saren. And this one is My for students. Rosemary and David. And while I play this, Lucia, do you want to grab our Tango Fado albums so that people can see? Okay. So I'm going to play my piece, uh, which was a special request from our Patreon donors. Christian McClear. Hello. How are you? So this is Lacrime, a piece that I wrote when I was 17 that is based on Fado, but you know, it has the melancholy of tango as well. And David Kaiser is there. You're most welcome. So David, this is for you and Rosemary. Uh, you, should, you could have brought ours as well. That's okay, we'll do it later. Oh. This is my album with Daniel Vinelli, Tango Fado Duo. 
where it's just the two of us. There's no bass, no piano. There's nothing else. So fado is the kind of music that is very similar to tango because they're both port cities, Lisbon and Buenos Aires, where both styles were born in. This is our Tango Fado project album. And uh, the music is melancholy. It has to do with uh, lost love normally. I didn't see these down there. <laughs> Uh, and you can find this everywhere online. Um, you can find it in Pandora, in Apple Music, iTunes, Google Play, uh, everywhere. Spotify, Amazon, absolutely everywhere. Good. Lacrime. Inspired by Fado.
Thank you, thank you, Val. Thank you, uh, Luz E. Vera from Canada. Hugs from Canada. I pronounced your name with a Spanish accent. I'm sorry. Carlos André, lindíssimo. Thank you. Com thank you. Food for the soul. Comida para a alma. Muito obrigado. Obrigado eu. Uh, Cristina Weber, wow, lindíssimo. Thank you. Lori Loris S. Arte. Thank you. Carlita Caruso. Thank you. Pablo Yamazares. Que lujo te diste con el capo de Vinelli, Pedro. Gracias, Pablo. Um, all right, so uh, now we're going to play a piece that we wrote together. Uh, so this is our last piece for today. And it's a, a piece that is in a tango, electronic tango style. Lucia, why don't you explain a little bit about it? We actually wrote this some years ago. We were having fun and we didn't even think of pushing it, but now we revive it. So we have like a new approach, transclassical approach. This is electronic tango, has a beat, electronic sounds, but it has um, a bandoneon. Uh, we, we recorded this with Hector del Curto. So another great bandoneonist. Another great bandoneonist. So we had very lucky to work with these people. So you're gonna hear the bandoneonist Hector del Curto playing. And um, we have the keyboards and guitars in it. And, and it has all the rhythmic the, the, the parts and they're very traditional tango inside the electronic style. We use a lot of melody, we use some improvisation in it as well. And the electronic tango has become, you know, uh, pretty much high art because there's people like um, the composer whom we know very well who won two Oscars, uh, Santa Olaya, Gustavo Santa Olaya. Oh, yeah, he produces... Uh, he produces a lot of electronic tango, right? That's right, yes. Explain more. <laughs> I don't know what to explain more. Well, say he the has movies a group, that... uh, yeah. He wrote the uh, scores to uh, the Motorcycle Diaries. Uh, he also, he won an Oscar for Brokeback Mountain and another for Babel. And uh, he produces and electronic tango with Bajo Fondo. Bajo Fondo, that's right, yes. Yeah. And so uh, tango has evolved throughout all these years. Another great composer who evolved tango is Asto Piazzolla. And Pedro uses a lot of the Portuguese guitar in tango, which I think goes really well with it, the color of the, the, the tone. Again, the two um, origin has, are very similar in melody. There's a bit, kind of melancholic melody, but the Portuguese are more kind of like resigned to whatever is really making that pain. The Argentinians are not so resigned. They're more like a complaining style, no? Well, more, We're more like... It's a little bit more aggressive. It's more aggressive. There's a thing the rhythm you can you can feel is more aggressive than the Portuguese. Arturo Rua, Eo. From Spain. Hello, people. Thank you for touring with us from all around the world. Thank you. All right. So thank you so much. And uh, Katerina Gavrilova. Oh, so this instrument, it's the Portuguese guitar. It's the instrument from Portugal. But we do a lot of tango with this, including the Tango Fado project, uh, where I play with Daniel Vinelli, uh, the great singer. Um, Natalie, Natalie Pires. Pires and the great pianist from Uruguay, um, Poli Ferman. Poli Ferman. So uh, it's a Portuguese guitar. It's tuned in a very strange way. And it's a beautiful instrument. And we think it goes really well with tango. So we uh, join it all the time. All right. So for the last piece, we're going to play an electronic tango. We're going to we're doing things that we've never done before. Uh, Lucia just played a, a Chopin like version of Quiero ser tu sombra. And now, we're going to do an electronic tango. Tango 3 by Lucia and me.
<laughs> How do you feel playing electronic that was fun. tango? That was fun. <laughs> that was different, right? Yes. We're trying to spice things up and doing different things. We have a couple more tangos electronic that we can do next time, maybe. We can yeah, we have a couple time. more electronic tangos. <laughs> we actually met Gustavo Santolaya twice. Uh, one at a concert that he gave um, and another at a, a party in Manhattan where we played the Beatles until the wee wee hours in the yeah. night. Wee -wee it hours. was... <laughs> <laughs> it's an expression. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Gustavo Santolaya, we were playing the Beatles on uh, a, a guitar and Portuguese guitar. And it was just an incredible experience. So uh, hello to Lucia Morales. Yes, Lucy, ¿cómo estás? my mother. In Mendoza, Argentina. Pablo José Juntini. Hola, Pablo. In um, Buenos Aires, Argentina. And Vilma Codó. From in Mendoza. Ar Turo Rua, plus, plus, from plus. Spain. Gracias, Galicia, Spain. So we have people from London. We have people from Belgium, from Canada. A lot of places in the US, California here. Everybody touring with us. Exactly. We can't tour there, but they can come with us. So Maria Rita Paes uh, in Lisbon. Hello to you and Terzinha. So uh, next time we'll be back. Uh, and desde Rosario, Ezequiel Diz. So we have lots of people He's from in Buenos Aires. Rosario is... He's from Rosario, but he's in Buenos Aires. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> next time we'll play more tangos. Uh, so until then, I bid you adieu. So thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Stay safe. <laughs>